I'm on my last thread. I just went live, Yuri. Heck yeah, we live. We live, live. We all the way live, we all the way live. <laughs> yeah, it probably like glitched out yeah, and then like I just edited my tanks and it said there were a lot of crews on a mission. I don't know why it didn't let me join back in the game. That's weird as shit. I tell you for it. Let's get it now. this morning let's get it now what's going on everybody man my name is pocket better known as opg hopefully you know me and right now we are getting ready for an opg podcast who's all here who's all present hello I don't know who you are. What am I doing you? <laughs> Wait, how are you, Auntie May? Hello. Hello there. Egg Pog. Why? I've been in the chat for almost like an hour. <laughs> yeah, I've been up for an hour before. I've never actually like uh, up up before I go live. But it's the weekend, so I guess I had time a little bit today. Um, so today we're going to do a podcast. Is anybody uh, ready for that? I want to be a part of that. Heck yeah. Pocket, better known as OPG. Turn up actually streamed yesterday. About time the buddy streamed. Um, Vex, Vex, ain't no way you're here. I know you ain't you ain't even real, Vex. I ain't seen you in about 19, 11 years, bro. I didn't even know you were still around, bro. You all right, buddy? I ain't seen you in 19, 11, 20,000, 50 million years, brother. Who art thou? Okay, so. Everybody who is here participating for the podcast, say I or hi, hello, bye, doesn't matter, just say Shabbat Shalom something. Well, I feel it, brother. Well, guess what? Um, I'm playing Siege again, so you better... Bring that booty to chat. I've been playing Siege a lot. both on PC now. You're on PC now? Do you, are you playing Siege? <clears throat> if you're on PC, 
and you're not here every day. I don't know what's wrong with you. You have internet source and a PC. You better be here every day, Dex, from now on out. Because me and um, me and Black Widow still play. Alright, guys. So, um, everybody's fucking muted. Um, let's see. I'm here. Okay. Well, guys. Uh, the first question of the day is, you're here? Okay, nice. The first question of the day is, um, what is the source of your happiness and why? So if you have one source, it doesn't have to be all your sources of happiness. Just tell me a source of happiness and why. Oh, shit, that's a tricky question. <laughs> Nobody has a source mine of happiness? Would be video. My, mine would be my video games. Video games are your source of happiness? Yeah, because it brings me, uh, it's like my stress relief. A little, a little escape from the real world. Okay. Yes, yeah. Yuri. Yeah, I'll do better on that. Ninja, how you doing, baby? Welcome in. If anybody else is new, please say something or say hello. <laughs> we thank you for being here. Shout out to the 13. And remember, guys, anybody in chat can answer these questions, too. What is your source? Of, uh, what is a source of happiness and why for you? I'll tell you a source of happiness for me. I need to get... Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Found it. Yep, what is, a, what is one source of happiness for you and why? Okay. So it could be anything, it could be a being, it could be whatever, but tell me why that is your a source of happiness for you. Yo, what up, Zero? Twisted, thank you so much for the sub. Second and third party, get a hype train going. First hype train of the day. You know, if we get a hype train, I'll be able to put my camera on. We'll have a camera on YouTube too. Hey, no problem, bro. I'm just never up at night. So, like, if you stream at night, I, I mean, I, I'm always, I can, I can always at least lurk before I go to bed. I'm always gonna have you up. I already got like five thousand channel points in your channel. And for me, for you being a night guy, that's pretty good. Cause I, I'm normally asleep during that time. So, so Zero, do me a favor, buddy. What is the source of, uh, of happiness for you, and why? I'll say a source of my happiness would be um, physical therapy, uh, which is the gym, or basketball, of course. Um, everyone knows that I was out of shape after the house fire, and um, whenever I have a lot on my mind or I feel like I need to be productive when there's nothing I can get like um, immediately, I go to the gym or you know do any type of physical. Th therapy which could be even like going into the sun and by the pool or uh, getting some fresh air outside hunting you know anything that you could possibly think of uh, where'd you put it at uh, and, and you got to do it in general my family because they push me every day that is a good one that's a very good one and May says the same thing she says my family because I know they're never going to judge me for bad things that happen in my life. They're always there to support me, give me advices, and always available for me. That is an uh, amazing answer, That's a very man. good answer. Yeah, it's a very, very good, good answer. answer. It's blessed to have family members like that. Like I said, over time, uh, not everybody has uh, family members, <coughs> um, or some may not have as immediate, intermediate family members, so 
the fact that you have the comfortability to do that with your family is absolutely insane and awesome. Doc, what's going on, baby? Lampshade, what's going on, man? Um, we are doing a talk show for the first 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, every day, I'm going to be doing OPG podcasts for at least 30 minutes to an hour. Um, so, guys, make sure you check out the YouTube as well. We're pushing for YouTube partner. Um, so, yeah, that way I can at least chill and get ready for the par uh, beginning of stream and everybody gets active with one another. Um, but the question of today, for the first question of the day is, what is a source of happiness for you and why? Anybody can answer. Uh, I'm reading the answers out loud and we're reflecting on it. Mine was physical therapy. And not exactly in the PT way of like recovering from surgery, even though that's um, the correct definition of PT. But um, for me, physical therapy can be a lot of other things. What's up with you, Poos? Everybody say what up the lampshade as well. Yeah, your Discord crashed. What is a source of happiness for you and why? Just a source, one source, could be anything. But tell me why that is a source of happiness for you. One source that brings me happiness is the OPG community because the community is so kind and lovely and I absolutely love it. Dude, thank you, Yuri. I appreciate you. I've worked really hard to get everybody friendly and liking each other and shit. It's harder than you think. Poos, would you like to answer that question? Anybody else want to answer that question before I answer the next one? Doc is going go ahead. Waking up is pretty cool. It means I didn't die in the night, especially on my birthday. Oh, today's your birthday? <laughs> if it's your birthday, happy birthday, bro. Yo, happy birthday. Everybody in the chat say happy birthday to Doc. If you're in the chat, you know how important a birthday is. Happy birthday, Doc. The big 64. Holy moly, brother. Thank you so much for the sub, Twisted Kitten. Hold on. Let me give you a shout out, Twisted. I'm so sorry. I thought someone got you. No one they didn't. Second to third, get a hype train going. Yo, happy freaking birthday, Doc. That is awesome, man. <clears throat> 11 months, Twisted? It's almost been a year now. Really? All right, who's ready for the second question? Hit it. I hope to see him on, too. I'll probably rate him today. <clears throat> Okay, so the second question is, okay, you ready guys? What got you on Twitch and why do you still use it? What got you to Twitch and why do you still use it? Vex has an answer for the first question. I'd have to say is when you can find people you are chill with and you feel like brothers and sisters. Kind of like people from this chat. You don't even know them in real life. But chilling with them makes you feel like you've been there your whole life. Yeah, like a true friend or a true family that you couldn't get to meet in person. Even though there is that possibility. Can I skip that question? Yeah, you can skip. You don't have to partake in the questions. I don't know. I don't really like watching like live TV. I, I prefer like just watching like games so that's normally like the thing for me like i spend more time on twitch than anything else anything else i got yeah. into twitch because of a youtuber uh, i mean twitch is where we used to have all our tournaments and stuff so watching everyone play but yuri says yeah, i, I don't like... know why i made a twitch uh may said i'm on twitch <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is a better social platform than Facebook and way more fun. I do agree. I do agree. So I'm kind of with TK on this one. This is how I started Twitch. Um, of course, I got sold to Facebook, so I had to come to Twitch. Um, I was offered to come to Twitch before uh, Mixer crashed, but I, I didn't. I was too much on a high horse to, to accept that reality. I had a buddy that was on my team. He was like, hey, man, I heard that Mixer's going down. And he told me. Him and Bad Motor told me four months before it crashed that it was going to crash. And I was like, I don't believe you. Like, you're, like, why are you two the only people in the world that know this, you know? And, 
Y'all just so happen to be in my community. No one's talking about it, and y'all are two of the only people that know about it, you know? And um, it, it happened. Mixer crashed, and uh, I went over to Twitch with, like, a 1,000 followers and stuff. I had, like, 25 live viewers before I even had an affiliation, and at least 25, 40. And um, it really opened up my eyes, and that's why I'm still on it to the day because um, it's the biggest uh, streaming service out there if you make it on twitch you, you're gonna make it on any other platform i'm just gonna be honest if you make it on twitch you're gonna make it on any other platform because it is the hardest Very platform true. it's yeah. the hardest platform like no matter what it's the biggest platform so if you make it on twitch you officially could say <clears throat> hey you have enough social status to do something on any other platform that's when the other platforms come to play like oh let's go to kick or let's do this yeah if you're a twitch partner yeah go to kick if you're like almost twitch partner sure go to kick but at the same time you're splitting so much people that already been hard nosed for a certain app, you know. So, but that's my uh, that's how I got on Twitch is through Mixer, and that's why I'm still on it today because it's the biggest streaming platform, and it's better than Facebook, Twitter, and all that other stuff. I don't need to like your comment to talk to you, you know. So I like that. I made Twitch because I followed a Japanese streamer, then I tried streaming myself. Stopped because of time and uh, racial hate. It stayed because of the people I met here. That's very sweet, May. I'm sorry that you had racial hate. My ex got me into Twitch, but I stayed because of the amazing <coughs> people I met. See, both of the ladies used that same last line. That's beautiful. OPG actually got me to use Twitch. Like, I never had it, but until OPG came across a random Siege game, and ever since, I've used it a lot more. I watch games that I can't play or don't want to play. Twitch feeds that addiction. You know what, Poos? That is that is probably the most logical response I've heard right yet because literally that's what made me scout Mixer. I went over playing my favorite game and I was like, oh, I'm the best player in this game. Like I knew I was the best Battlefield 5 player in the world on Xbox. No one could tell me that anything different. Like I literally, imagine me not streaming and only dedicating myself to one game. Do you honestly think I'm going to lose? Honestly. I'm not a streamer. I'm not talking to y'all. I have no one to talk to. There's no camera. I'm a forehead sweat, you know? And I went on Mixer to go see, like, the live stuff because I'd go look at YouTube like Nick Merckx, like TK said. I'm like, and in the comment section, you know what Nick's Merckx chat would always say, TK? Every time I go in his comment section, it would say, I was there I was there live. I was there when it happened live, you know? And I'm like, live? Like, where are they doing this at? Are they doing this on YouTube? Or they do, where is this happening at? And it was on Twitch. And I never knew. I never gave it a chance. I literally went to YouTube, seen that comment section, and went to Mixer. And still didn't give Twitch a chance. Dang. Got sold to Facebook, that's then I crazy. came to Twitch. Yeah. Right? It's, it's kind of wild. So, that's what made me want to stay on Twitch. Because I, after seeing Nick Merck's feed, I'm like, dang. My very first day on Twitch, which was in June, three years ago. I went to Nick's Merck, Nick Merck's chat, and he had uh, uh, 18,000 people. And every comment was like a sub of like 139 months or some shit, you know? Like it's like tier three sub, 139 months. Like long, hard-nosed, dedicated subs. Every yeah. Everybody's talking in there, and you can't even get a word out. It's just like, wow. Like this is what they say being there live is for and I, after seeing that I was like man this is a different ball game I was like Twitch is the real deal all I know is that I remember I found OPG and I stayed after that I'm weak guess who's back Black Plague the plague is back oh my goodness Only problem with Twitch is Amazon is using it to buy a billion dollars worth of glitter for their shitty Turds of Power show. I don't know anything about, <laughs> <laughs> anything about that, but you just put something in the air that I didn't know about. So I, I do know that Jeff Bezos has a, a, a nice thumb up to Twitch's uh, par, uh, parlay, but I mean, it's the biggest streaming platform, so it can't be that bad. You say you don't remember me, bro? I mean, dang, bro. I got to remember I got to remember everybody who comes to my chat.
Uh, fair enough. I was as I was one of your first though. My first what? Bro, you followed me last year, July second, twenty twenty two. That was a year ago. I've been streaming for four years. You want me to tell you what your first message was? Your first message was, I just got this game. I'm going to follow you to learn some tips. And I'm not good at sleeping. Are you a War Thunder watcher? I've been on War Thunder for over a year. And I'm on a podcast right now. Yeah, I can, Lodge. So yeah, Black Plague, I remember you. Do you remember me? Do you remember what I did yesterday? Or do you want to answer one of my questions too? Because we're having a podcast. If you want to join, I'm, you're more susceptible to join. I mean, I just—I mean, I just rather be more specific. You said he was one of my first. One of my first what? I didn't lose my virginity on Twitch. Did you lose your virginity on Twitch, TK? Luke? Anybody? No. No. I don't think so. Was I your first? First, as in what? First isn't, I don't know. Was I ever your first? <laughs> Am sure, I allowed to not? answer that question? No, Yuri, you cannot answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> this is why it's a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the third question. Y'all ready for the third question? Y'all liking the question so far? We got, the first question was the source of happiness and tell me why and uh, what got you to Twitch and why you're still on it. Okay. If you're ready for the third question, say I or hi in the chat. I. What is it like to game with OPG? Yes, we'll do that. Every third question will be a chat question. So Yuri's question is, what is it like to game with OPG? Uh, well, actually, I guess you can. That's a question to TK and Luke. I can't really. It's like. I can't even answer that myself. It's like playing with a goat and being in some sweaty lobbies, but learning the game in like a fast paced environment. That is true. Which I like. I do, I do agree with that. That's exactly my play style. And it like makes me better. What about you, Luke? What is it like to play with OPG, if you can hear us? Is my driver ready? Bad Luke. Hey, Black Widow's here. Bex, look who's here. Hey, no problem. Love you, uh, Widow. OPG the go. OPG, you're going to buy Battlefront 2 for PC? It's got to be some of the funniest gaming, but sweatiest when it needs to be. Yeah, for sure. Definitely when it comes to Siege. Siege is a different level, though. I'm not going to lie. Bex and Black Widow probably caught me in the best gaming era of OPG. These guys found me before I was big. You know what I'm saying? Like the like that guy that came in and said he was one of my first. These guys are actually some of my first like uh friends I game with like on Xbox. They found me on Xbox. So um that's an experience in itself. And I and I'm glad life is in circle man. It's about time man. We've been we've been working hard for it for a long time, Black Widow. Lampshade, how you been, man? It's so good to see you in here, bro. I always love when I see your name in chat.
Does anybody else have an answer to that question? What is it like to game with OPG? TK and uh, Vex with the amazing answers. I would say, um, since it, I'm me, I don't know how to like formally answer that question. Um, I, I guess I would. What I would say I would want your experience to be is depending on the game or the mood that I'm in. It's either casual community gameplay with with the community when I let y'all game with me. Or if you're in the same skill set as me on the game that I'm playing, it's a dedicated focus to content, you know, and interaction between comms of the people that I'm with. So wholeheartedly, I want you guys to enjoy yourself, but understand the, the seriousness of live entertainment because we're putting on a show for people that actually want to see or not see this crap, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, and that's my... That's what I want your experience to be, depending on what it is. Like if I'm, if I'm doing like Fortnite games, even though I don't do that a lot, but like any like any community games, that's different. That's whole fun, wholehearted siege. That's community games. Even, but that's where Vex could say it can get sweaty because when I can say it's time to lock in, it's time to lock in. COD is a game you always have to lock in with me. That's a hundred percent. You always just gotta lock in. There's no, you know, almost. There's only the only time that I'm chilling on COD is when you know I'm not saying anything. You know, so. It's just levels to this, and I hope you guys enjoy uh, the experience nonetheless. Hey, no problem. Love you, Widow. Play with OPG. Mostly annoyance because my internet starts lagging as soon as I play with him, but also fun. As he riles up the opposition, I really feed into the hate on the show. Uh, it's Dude, I'll tell you, Search and Destroy with OPG is probably... I, I would say the top three experiences is Siege, Call of Duty, Search and Destroy, OPG, and then War Thunder, OPG. Those are probably the top three gaming experiences you can have with me. Oh, yeah, Search and Destroy, yes. Yeah, it's really good. Or T if, if you guys play 2K. 2K was probably very, very good if y'all were part of the 2K era. My 2K era was absolutely insane. <sighs> Bro, Luke, I wish you would have met me on 2K. I was just thinking of the it's a game I've never played. It's a fresh mode lawn. <laughs> Yo, Lodge, you're funny as fuck, dude. It's simple man. Simpleton. Uh yeah, we gotta get enough people. Like I said, uh I've been uh, I've been getting I always get consistent views no matter what. But like um I, I don't get the seventy or eighty viewers anymore because everybody's doing twit uh a kick and YouTube and Tw uh, TikTok all of a sudden. TikTok's getting banned. All of a sudden, everybody want to go do it again. Kick this came around. Everybody want to stop doing Twitch and do that. You know, and I've been I've been to that the whole time while they were just doing Twitch, you know? So, I don't know, man. It's hard. Sorry that I didn't remember who you were, Black Plague, and thanks for the unfollow, buddy. I'll see you never. Huh. You got mad because I didn't remember him, bro. Man, it's, just, it's not my fault, man. You haven't talked in six and a half months. And you talked to him the very same day you met me. It's hard to remember everybody, man. Get active. All right, so that was the third question. What is it like to game with OPG? All right, we're going to do another three questions. Two for me, then one from the chat. What is everybody's favorite sport in the chat? And if you don't like sports, why? That's a tough one because I used to play sports. So but if then you, I just stopped. Football. Well, not that soccer shit. None of that. So football. Football, football. Actual football. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. TK, what would be your favorite sport from the sports that you did play? <clears throat> Hockey. Okay. That's different. Exactly what Vex said, uh, May. Siege is the only game that literally is not possible with crossplat because it's the only it's the sweatiest game in existence. It's the sweatiest game in existence. Do you understand that? Siege is the most skilled and sweatiest game in existence of all platforms. If, if, if anybody wants to contest me, I'm, I will talk all day. That This will turn to a 10-hour stream. Let, 
let's let's start the conversation. What game what is sweaty? No, the movement is terrible. You can't even if you if you plug in a controller and play CS:GO, you're gonna to want to throw your controller at the at the monitor. Oh, I've it, never played it. Yeah, because you know keyboard and mouse. What what original CS:GO players from console? Nobody. CS:GO is on console. <laughs> no, I'm just saying <laughs> nobody. That's exactly. Yeah, exactly. Nobody. And I'm an Xbox player, so I go to a game like that, and you're just smashed. Siege. It's the same thing. You go to that game uh, with your um, your controller, which is a they call it a crutch, and then you go to keyboard and mouse, where you can start leaning when you walk. It's a whole different ball game. Same with CS:GO. You probably have different movements than you would on a controller. So yeah, I, I will say it's essentially kind of in a category as that, but that's like that's like saying Valorant's sweatier than Siege. Because what's CS:GO? Valorant, you you can get an ace, you can kill six people in a sniper shot too, except they just don't get a respawn sometimes. <coughs> You compare it to games like COD, Apex, you could probably like pick the game up. If you're good at those sort of games, you, you might be good from the get-go, but I'm really good at FPS games, and if I go on Siege, I get smoked. Because right. there's so much more than just like having to, you know, shoot straight. <laughs> well, yeah, well, like, you got to understand that these people on keyboard and mouse, even if they've been casually playing three years, the person that has a 0 0.5 KD playing on keyboard and mouse is more likely to flick on you and go crazy in the casual and drop oh, yeah. drop two and six in a ranked, but smoke you because they're using keyboard and mouse. Even though I'm using a crutch of a of a controller, I have better sturdier aim in the way that I'm uh, I'm aiming. But I don't get to hit spots or hit flicks or angles that they get to hit. So even though I'm a better siege player, I'm just not better siege player than him because I don't know how to use keyboard and mouse. And it would take so much time to 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 even equate to, hit, to that point five KD player on siege. A .5 KD player on Siege on keyboard and mouse is probably like a, a 2.0 sweat on Warzone KD on Rebirth or just regular Warzone easily. 2.0 is probably like I wouldn't say that's sweat. That's not. I'm that's just saying. Average. Right, right. But that's a, that's a, that's an average PC user that's got a <laughs> 3090 that's got a three to five thousand setup and not everybody's dropping that. Regardless, the, the average KD for a player on Call of Duty is like one, zero, like zero point eight nine. It's terrible. That's on console. PC is like one point one two. It's terrible. Two point is marginal, but it's still considered a, a casual sweat. If well, if I can count martial arts as a sport in your eyes, I would say my favorite sport in school was kendo, and now judo. Learning for a job. Yeah, man, I'm a one point one KD. Yeah, that's not that's a sport. Yeah, there's a lot of any, anything's a sport. Cricket's a sport. You know, like anything's a sport. What's going on in here? Tetris. That's your favorite sport, <laughs> Tetris. <laughs> Hockey for sure for lampshade. Baseball and tennis for Vex. I would say my favorite's basketball, but I think everyone knows that. And um, but before basketball, it had it was football. But basketball is my heart and soul now. I can watch basketball all day. I think it's just the most. Um, I think it's the most gathered professional sport. Well, at least rigged, you know, from what from the knowledgeability of the rules that I know, at least, you know. I don't know anything about soccer. I can't say anything about hockey. I, I I don't know. I I know that they're allowed to fight sometimes, and they don't stop it and they don't get penalized for it. I think that's gangster, but like that's it. That's all I know. I know that you get one point in soccer. I know there's 90 minutes in soccer. I don't know what makes overtime in soccer. I don't know what the, the, the half... I, I know Stoppage, you know. fouls, ball going out of play. Yeah, I, I, don't, I know that there's yellow card and red card. You trip someone, it's a yellow card. Red card means you're a bad boy. Get almost card got red carded away. once. The ref I never got a red card in my entire in my red card. Played the like 20 years and no other red card. <laughs> Damn. Uh, OPG, I will say this podcast is most definitely a hit. Like, I know not many people are viewing right now, but in my eyes, this is sweet. <laughs> Yo, I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, I mean, like, um, that's the thing, Vex. I people know me for having views, man. I'm not just a. I'm not gonna play games or do things for people just to view me. You know, um, I, I'm a, I guess, I'm a professional. Content creator, bro. I've been doing this for four years. 
There's any game that I play, I don't play casually because I played it for so long. If that makes sense, you know. Hundred percent. I feel that. Like I, I, you can't tell me that you go into a regular lobby. Like, yeah, I, I mess around a lot, and like, there's times where I, I just lose focus and I die sometimes. I'm not the best player, but like, just simply put, I literally don't play games <laughs> offline. Like, they, these guys are with me for an hour before stream, and I couldn't even think about throwing a game up. It doesn't even matter what game I would play, essentially, because no matter what, my skill set in my eyes is going to be primitive for content. Um, I did work really hard on this podcast last night, though. Uh, I did tell everybody that I was going to do a podcast today, and I, I spent a lot of time focusing on what I can do to better my content, because a lot of people mimic me um, from previous streamers that I interacted with and a lot of people I learn a lot from other people too so it's not a mimic if it's uh, if it's if you're original you know I've always been original and I, I looked at how people always will be in here for <clears throat> their own reason a catchy reason or for my reason so it's whatever I make it so um, I'm only going to keep on doing the best I can with you guys support and we're just going to uplift each other to our top no matter what, it doesn't matter if I'm playing Barbie Girl on Twitch, you know? Who cares? Hell yeah, Barbie Girl. You know? We're just here to, ha you know? We're here for other reasons. We're not here to, to please you. Yeah, I don't care. If, if I had 100 viewers listening to Barbie Girl, if that turns you up, there's guys doing Marvel streams, and there's, like, pool show streams and stuff, and they, you know, I don't even, they don't even have mods and VIPs in there, bro. Okay. Those pool streams are pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. You should, you should think about getting into that pocket. Like, bro, I'm so glad I'm not on camera, bro. I have a, I have like. a big, uh, dude. I, I think I just blew the biggest snot wide out of my nose from laughing so hard. <laughs> Holy crap, bro. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, the hot tub streams and, and stuff. Yeah, I'm just joking, but like, it, it's still in a sense, like people can play absolutely nothing and people know nothing about them, and because like the. the the way that they network or the way they work on their craft, they know people. So, you know, it just is what it is. You got to be a likable person. These people got to want to be around it. You did a thing? What'd you do, voices? No, not playing pool. Like pool, like being in a pool. I mean, gaming is a sport, right? Oh, heck yeah, Lodge. Yes, call it, gaming is, yes. And, and disc golf, he said PS4 disc golf. I didn't even know that was a game. PS3 disc golf. I've never heard of that. Yeah, the Army has a gaming league, by the way. I did uh, Ultimate Frisbee, though. <laughs> Ultimate Frisbee was is fire, bro. When I was a kid, I was raw Ultimate Frisbee, bro. I was different, bro. U Ultimate Frisbee? Different. You could not see me, G. You know that? You ever play Ultimate Frisbee? No? All right, sounds good, voices. See you in a little bit. What up, dragons? Uh, we're doing an OPG podcast for the first hour. Um, we lost track. We've been everywhere. We're all over the place now. Uh, we were talking about sports, but now we went to talking about Siege and everything else and all these other games because we're all nerds. Um, so, <laughs> some nerds. They were all nerds, but it's res it's respectable nerds. Yeah, nah, man. I, I, that's why I just answered that because I know we're all over the place. Sport, because sport is in the same category as uh, sport is in the same category as uh, gaming as well. You played so much ultimate frisbee. See, I like that lodge. I did it with my youth group, like growing up. Oh, dude, it's fire, fire, dude. I wish I could find my old Facebook, man, and show y'all, like, me as a kid, man. Me as a kid is crazy, man. 14-year-old OPG, you would think I, I was straight out of a Hollister model magazine, brother. I was, like, 130 pounds, six, six foot one, blonde and brown hair, bro. Oh, my Jeez. God. I was a total Chadley. Damn. Yeah. I what was, a heartthrob. I was Chadley. <laughs> I was six, I'm was six four now, but, I, like. Ah. I'm taller than you. Let's go. I was six. I was six one or six two, like as a jit. Like all fourteen, I, I I almost thought I was maxed out type deal. Like, I was like six two at fourteen. I'm like, oh my goodness. And then like seventeen, I think that's when I hit six four. 
17 is my last year growing. Well, inches at least. Wink, wink. OBG a nerd? No way. Yeah, I play tennis now, Yuri. I just started this year. I will say you go to play thinking like it's a breeze. Give it a week. You'll be uh, oh, so you have a tennis grunt? What's your tennis grunt, Vex? No balls. You're not even in the Discord no more. You couldn't even do your tennis grunt in the Discord. I was kind of dead, but I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> so was I. I was like, "Wait a minute!" Wait, I'm going twice like, like, is this my moment? <laughs> Gets. I want to see that straight Serena. I want to see the twins. I want to hear the twins grunt. They're championship winners. That's a championship yeah. grunt, Vex. Tennis. I barely break a sweat. I can go for an hour and not break a sweat. All right, Yuri. Don't lie to us. Nah, you want to know what my tennis grunt is? Chewbacca? I got a pretty good backhand nah, it, with it, tennis. It, it sounds like, ah, oh, fuck this, I'm done. <laughs> um, let's see. So, um, let's think of the next question. Now, I guess the sport question was one. I got another question, then we're going to give another. Then the third question will go to chat, okay? Tennis grunt. It took me a second to realize what you were talking about. Yeah, the tennis grunt. You know what I'm saying? Like, when they hit each, each hit, the tennis player has a grunt. A grunt makes your hit better. Like I, I did, I had tennis lessons. I tried tennis and golf at the same time, and golf took it by a landslide. I went golf. Does golf have a grunt too? No, like golf you? has a, a slice. Uh, yeah, it have, goes ting. Yeah, it goes tink, mink, 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 <laughs> mink. <laughs> that thing with that mink. You got like it's all about your hands, putting your foot forward. You know what I'm saying? Lining it up, and if you if you hit it. If the ball slices, you're doing something wrong. In the tennis, if you're not grunting, you're doing something wrong. You know what I'm saying? You don't got enough oomph in it. You ain't got enough em emphasis. Or should I say mink? Yes. Can't let me pick up some heavy. You have to make the sound or it doesn't you know, work. Yeah, no, no, no thrust in the must. So, second question. Before I throw chat a question at me. Um, I want to... I have uh, six questions here i was gonna i want to save this one for the next podcast i'm looking at this one i wrote it down i don't know which one i want to use these are all good um explain the time that uh, am i reading this right explain the time where you got out of a situation that you thought you weren't going to get out of Explain the time where you thought you weren't going to make it out. It doesn't matter what the scenario is. Don't get too deep. Be within terms of service, of course. Okay, no no crazy freaking horror stories now. Don't tell me how you, you ran away from... Yeah, yeah don't... Uh, it, no vets. No vet stories. <laughs> yeah, dude, no vet stories. <laughs> no vet stories, but tell, tell me a situation that you thought you weren't going to get out of. Coming out as a lesbian in front of my family. Okay, see, that's that's a good answer. That's a good answer. You see what I'm saying? That's why I threw that question out. That's a, yeah, that's a good answer to that. Same here. But I haven't told your IRL family. Yeah, and a younger kid does grunts to mess around with me, so he saved to do the grunt to be able to win because it what makes you better. Yeah, the tennis tennis lessons, I learned that. Lying on the ground after a bull hit my face and the other courseman looked at me and shook his head and, and walked away. So he walked away on you, right, Doc? That's crazy, bro. <coughs> Doc has actually been shot in the face. Like, real shit. I've been shot in the leg. I don't know if you guys know that. I've been shot in the leg and I've been stabbed in the stomach. But I'm, I'm not going to talk about those two stories. Because I obviously have another story that's way bigger than that. The fire stories easily could take that by cake. But I'm, I'm going to go the plausible route, uh, the, the community route, and say uh, there, oh. was, there was a time where um, I was in Cancun. Was it Cancun? Yeah. I went on a cruise ship with my mom and my grandma, and uh, we went to Cancun, and we went uh, uh, diving or whatever, looking at reefs and shit, snorkeling. And I didn't know how to snorkel well. I like I I don't know how to put that thing the the the, the tube because I be I go too far into the water, so I'm sucking in water and stuff. I don't I don't even know why they have that. Why is that a thing? Why in snorkeling do you have a tube that you that you got to get air from and stay up on the on the top like a turtle, bro? I'm not a turtle, bro. I don't even know how to float, let alone be a turtle. Okay, 
So I go snorkeling and I almost drown out there because I see a barracuda, bro. I'm over here snorkeling. I'm like 11 years old and I see a barracuda like less than three feet from me. And I'm freaking out and I'm sucking in all this water. My mom comes up to the water. She can't see me because I'm, I'm drowning. So my mom's freaking out. She didn't want the shore because she thought her son's dead. Some random stranger saved me. I come out to the to the to the beach. They start spitting out water out of me, and then my mom's freaked out, bro. She's over there calling police and shit. She finds me like three hundred feet down the beach, getting water out of me. She freaked out, bro. It was crazy. I didn't thought I was. I went back on that cruise ship. I told my mom I don't want to do nothing else in Cancun. I was like, I don't want to do nothing else. <laughs> I was like, I, I, I ain't doing, I, I ain't doing no more. Uh, uh-uh. I ain't going. I don't want to go to the Mayan ruins. I don't want to eat no Mexican candy. I, I don't want to do nothing, bro. I want to stay on the boat. I want to drink smoothies. And I want to stay in the pool, bro. I'm not going back in the sea. <laughs> Buck started gentleman picked my ass up and got me to the shopper. See, you know him by name. That man saved you. That's a blessing. A big ass fish with a bullet body and a teeth of piranha would be, uh, would be proud of. What's a barracuda? Okay, you tell her what a barracuda was. After I said that to my parents and my grand grandparents, I was sweating like crazy because my grand my father had that intense gaze in his face. I was thinking like he would disown me or yell, but he was really shocked. But after a long talk, they came to accept it. That's awesome. I'm glad that they sat down and talked with you. Cause I didn't even get to talk down to my dad about regular stuff, you know. So the fact that you was able to come out from your family with a situation like that is dope. What about voices, Luke, uh, TK? I have a situation where you thought you weren't going to get out of? Well, there was one. When I was a kid, I fell out of a shopping cart and my head split open and shit. Oh, damn. It's pretty fun. No, that, that's serious. <laughs> I, I, I got employee of the yeah, month yeah, at Walmart is. for that because an old lady fell out of her, like, um, the, the automatic uh, carts, you know, the wheelchair ones. Yeah, the but, power scooters. Yeah, bro, she Mobility fell. Mobility scooters. Yeah, I call them. she fell. She fell from just that, like, a half of a standing point. You know, like that's that's not even like five, four foot standing up. You know, think about it. You're, you're sitting down. You know, she fell over and she, her head split open on the Walmart floor. Like head f- front of her head, like whole, like looked like a like someone killed her. Like real stuff. It was the smallest fall, and it split her wide open. But she had a seizure, so she had, like, you know, she went head first. To oh, it. shit. Yeah. So, but that's still, I, that's terrible. <laughs> no, Yuri, that's, what the heck? Yes, uh, most definitely, John, you're in timeout, Yuri. You trying to get in timeout? You're in timeout. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> you need time out here. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, most definitely drowning, man. Like, I was out cold right before I actually passed out. I was thinking I'm done. There's no getting out of this because I heard one of my people yelling for help. It's loud. It was being my heart beating so fast. Black and quiet. It wasn't me this time? Yeah, Yuri got a timeout. She earned that one quick. May had to may double ask that question just to make sure she was getting a timeout. <laughs> she, she ate that one. But some girl got me the bottom of the pool and my dad. So it was at a pool and a girl got you and your dad gave you CPR and I woke up, couldn't hear it. How, um, how long did it take you to shake back from that water being in you? Because it was like 10 minutes for me. I didn't get my, my ears popped though. Like You know how you feel like when you, ear, you go too far down in the water or something? That was the only thing I got like side effect from that Cancun trip. Like I, Of course, I felt like I was drowning and dying, yes. But <laughs> my ears popped too. Luke, do you have one? Any crazy scenario where you thought you weren't going to get out? Not about me. I could do about someone else. But Go not ahead. me. I don't no. have one like that. No, I've not nearly died like everyone else apparently nearly has. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't even throw my di- I didn't throw my nearly die story either. That's natural life. I'm throwing the natural life in it. I'm not, I'm not saying the physical things. <laughs> I'm not saying what's happened to me. <laughs> yeah, that was natural selection on that one. If any, if, yeah, <clears throat> anything from natural selection, yes. So everybody, um, the third question, someone has to think about it in chat. It has to be a good question, a good enough question for me to ask chat and everybody answer. So the, now chat has to think of a good podcast question for OPG. It's your turn. I'm, I did uh, four questions. Yuri did the last one, so Yuri can't do this one. And she's in timeout anyways. 
How are it. babies made? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. Alright, uh, as long as it's not terms of service. Nah, it's good. If you could say something to everybody on the planet and they would understand you, one thing, what would you say to them and why? Wow. Unbelievable. That's <laughs> deep. Unbelievable totally question. That's it. deep. I you... totally took it as the jokester one. <laughs> nah, nah. Okay. Because <laughs> you know my favorite shit right now. That's deep. That's a deep question. I'm going to say, I, I like that question, though. So if you can say one thing to any, everybody in the world, they know exactly what you're saying. What would, mm-hmm. is it a word or a, or, or a you, statement? You can say like a sentence. Okay. You know, you if there's one sentence. thing you could say, like if there's one message you can get across, essentially. Yeah. Okay. So if there's one message you can get across to everybody, if there was an international language, if English was just the international language, or your 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 language is the national language for everybody, what would be your message to everybody, with or without response? And why? You would use common sense? Okay. Asshole. Oh, dude, I felt like... <laughs> okay. so I would use common sense. That's what you would tell them? You would tell them to use common sense? <laughs> You'd be like, yeah. You, common sense. Don't don't go that way. You, when it says wrong way, don't go that way. Are you that person, Twisted? I believe you. I believe you. Yeah, because no one uses it anymore? <laughs> So you're the road rager yelling at people to use common sense. I, I you know what? I feel it. I'm a Florida man, so I, I, I have that interference about twice a week on the road. Dude, I felt like I was far gone. I woke up and sat there 20 minutes before I could hear and realize who was talking to me. But I still couldn't do anything until another 20, 30 minutes. How old were you when uh when you when that happened, Vex? If you don't mind me asking. I would say the thing I would say to everybody, the message I would get across is the the uh, time like since I'm one of these happy to be alive people from everything that's happened to me, I would just say uh, value life in itself and let it go like and, and just say it in that aspect. Value life in itself and, and and let everybody go to its own variation of that. Because if you don't value the setting or the time or the time spent or what you're actually doing, you get lost in the sauce. You get lost in space. Because time is all we got. And once the once the clock ends, there's no battery pack to turn us back on you know you got to value the time that you that you've already spent here so uh, if i was going to talk to everybody from from here to china i would tell them to value life in itself because you never know what's going to happen the next second oh you were young six to eight my message is we have so many different possibilities to make the world a better place but rather we do our best to make it worse we can do better people Okay, I like that. That's not even a politic. That's not even politic with it. That's just a natural state of saying, like, "Hey, we can all do better." And I agree with that. I like that. Enjoy life. <clears throat> Death sucks and lasts a really long time. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. Enjoy life in itself and let it go to its own variation to everybody else, and they can take it how they want to. But that was a great question, voice. If anybody else wants to follow up on that, if they have a message. They would send to anybody. What would that message in a bottle be? The best one I've heard, the response to that question has always been, run. <laughs> run. Run while you can. Ligma. <laughs> My <lamp> shade said, <laughs> run. May, laugh out loud. May said, run where? <laughs> Just run. It's coming. I like that. That was a good response too. Said. Loud. That was funny. Any all right, so uh, voices is cheating. He was in the voice chat. I want someone from the chat to ask a question now. Okay, guys. Every so someone from the chat that is not in the Discord. That means Luke, Voices, TK, and Yuri are disqualified from the question. Damn. Someone asked a question that's Superficial enough to ask everybody else for the podcast. Don't ever make a decision while you're mad. And never make a promise when you're happy. That's different. Vex, I've actually never heard that. That's different. That's a deep one. 
<clears throat> so, but I need one of you guys in chat to think of a question for the podcast to ask me to answer the chat. Okay? Because that was the Discord's question. You already did the chat one. Now it's time to do a chat one. What is your opinion on the Ukraine war and what did you find interesting? Okay, well that's that's going on borderlines terms of service, Amel. So unfortunately, I can't do I can't, I can't reflect that. Comment it. on it either. Yeah, unfortunately, that's that's a borderline t- t- terms of service question, so we can't answer that one. Yeah, buddy, that's too that's too crazy. I, I I'm not <laughs> I'm not Joe Rogan, bro. I'm not Joe Rogan yet. You gotta you gotta give me you gotta give me about 150 podcasts more before you get there. Uh. What about Doc Anime? He said, uh, okay. <laughs> that was a Joe Rogan question, though, right? Was that not? I feel like that's a Joe Rogan question. You asked Joe Rogan that. You call on the line and ask Joe Rogan that. I would like to hear his answer on that. You know who I also like as a podcaster? What's that other white guy? Theo, right? He makes no sense, but he's funny. The Theo guy. And I like, um, what's his name? Andrew Schultz, bro. I like that Schultz guy. He is good. The Schultz guy is really, really good. He's got good stand-up. He's got good work. Everybody knows who he is. He's just he's it's a very good comedian. <clears throat> so anybody doesn't have a question in chat that isn't borderline in terms of service? I'll go back to ask the questions for y'all if y'all ready to take some more answers. <clears throat> Or we can go straight to the War Thunder. You guys let me know. We're almost at the hour mark. What what, what will you think be the future of humanity? Will we be able to learn out of our mistakes? Are we destined to be self-destructive? Like the things we do on the planet or even in nature in general? Okay, that is a deep, deep question. Um, Deep. Deep, deep, deep. That's not terms of service, though. (laughs) <laughs> it's not terms of service though. Um okay. That's that's more of like uh you we I have I have no knowledge ability of the future. I don't even know uh the only thing I know in the future is when the rents do. Okay. <laughs> so uh I don't know where I live at if a hurricane is gonna hit tomorrow or alligator is gonna bite my foot. So you know, it's it's hard to think about where humanity's gonna go. I'm a Christian. I don't mind speaking on religion. Uh, so, as far as that goes, uh, I, I everyone knows my name is Luke, just like Luke. So I'm I, I have a good headspace of where I think I'm gonna go in, in the future. Uh, I can't speak for everybody else. I do think that we have self destructive ways, but I can't speak for all countries. Uh, but the the one thing I do say that we can do is getting a national general awareness uh, of everybody just doing a, not word of mouth, but correct word of mouth, you know, not hand, hand me down TV information. It's like, hey, you obviously see if you don't put a mask on, you're going to get COVID information, you know, even though we didn't want to hear it type deal. You know, I, I, I don't I never necessarily agree with everybody with the way they treated COVID. But when people said put on a mask, you felt you, you figured out the true colors of the next person because, you know, all of a sudden that person that used to be comfortable next to you on the subway doesn't want to be next to you, you know? So that's how we can generally make society better, in my opinion. What's your favorite movie and why? Thank you. That is an amazing question. That's awesome. Killer game. What up? My favorite movie and why is I have like, I have a top five, to be honest, but I'm just going to go with the notebook. Number one. Oh, uh, do you know what? I was not expecting that from you, but that's a serious movie. Yeah, notebook serious, bro. <laughs> notebook, dude. Listen, I was going through it. Listen, I was young. <laughs> I was young. Good. Ryan Gosling was my man, bro. And I was like, yo, bro, I want to be I, like. He just played in a movie um, with uh, the Steve Carell, the one where he taught him how to be a man again. You know what I'm talking about? Where he's like a yeah. super player. I was like, dude, he's fire actor, right? And then I go to, and then I just broke up with this girl named Brianna Shockley. Okay, it was my first girlfriend ever. Okay, and um, I dated her from middle school to high school. You know what I'm saying? And freaking, the Notebook comes out, and I'm just like, wow, this is crazy. Like this dude just went through all this, 
And now you go look at it, that's almost everyday life. And that was in the, they, the setting was in the 40s, you know? So it's just like, it, and you know all the music I listen to, right? You know, I listen to 70s, 80s, and blues. So just watching that and being from the South and feeling that at the time and then and incorporating all, it was it was the perfect mesh of Southern, southern pain and love and romance, <laughs> you know, for me. Letters to Iwo Jima is probably one of my favorite movies. Damn. Oh, Mel, you want to, you're going to put us on a rabbit hole for this one. I got a top five, bro. Has anyone got a top five for movies? Like, can you go top five off rip or maybe even top three? I only got one. What? Star Wars. Sure, that's like eight movies. That's like eight. Yeah, that's like 19. It's Are actually like one? To be oh, 10, it's like 39. <laughs> 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 this is one, Star Wars. Type <laughs> clone. <laughs> well then that's series <clears throat> that would be like series if you're doing Star Wars it's like series cause I've I, the Born Ultimatum the Born series is my favorite it would be Born Jesus Christ it's Jason Bourne yeah Jason Bourne series is insane bro that is great Jason Bourne movies were <clears throat> way ahead of their time bro you know that 2002 uh, Born Identity that the, the car race in Moscow was uh, 1.5 oh million. Oh my god! Yeah, that was 1.5 million to shoot, and that was before like CGI, and that was before like people having like uh, we had stunt doubles, but we didn't have like the stunt doubles we had today. <laughs> you know, where we we could throw a plastic car and it looks like a real car. They had to use like real cars to throw away, and those you know, like it was way ahead of the time. Marley and Me. That's the that's the one with Owen Wilson, right? I think I've seen oh, that wow. one. I mean, that was a good one. That was a good one. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's a Greyhound. sad film. Avatar. Matrix. Matrix is good. Shawshank Redemption would have, have to be a good one. A good nominee for me. I don't know. Mine's a bit like... <clears throat> oh, Silence of the Lambs. Everyone's cup of tea, but for me, my Saving Private Ryan. Oh, see that you're gonna oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. See, it. that's that's part of my top five. That's cheating. You can't do that. I got Full Metal. That's like, it. yeah, I got I got Black oh, Hawk wow. Down. I got Black Hawk Down. Saving Private Ryan. Full Metal Jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then yeah. Uh, unbelievable. Band, of, band, free. band of Brothers, and then I go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you don't want to get me there, dude. You gotta remember, I'm I'm worth under, dude. I'll go all day. Don't do that shit. Yeah, that's, um, I'll, I'll that's go basically into like it. my top five. I'll talk about it the rest of the stream. I, I will fucking go into it, bro. That's, <laughs> I, I'm with the nitty gritty, bro. Did you hear my favorite series? Jason Bourne, bro. All right? I'm not playing no games, bro. I'm with all the shit. All right? I'm, I'm with all the, <laughs> the zip, zip, zip. Meek, meek, meek. I do this for a living and my family don't know me shit. That's the, I like that shit. That's what I like. Okay? I told my mom. I said, if I ain't going to be an ABC, I'm going to be an assassin. She was like, why? It's like, then you can't be around us. <laughs> I was like, I, I'm, I was like, mom, I'm big enough. She's like, I don't care. <laughs> I was delusional, bro. Oh, I, I, I wanted to be Matt Damon, dude. Who cares? That's who I wanted to be. Full Metal Jacket was amazing. Hawks Hall Ridge, that's a good one. Um, there's another one that I'm thinking about. Um, the Battle of Bunker Hill. And oh, yeah. the Battle yeah, of Bunker, yeah, yeah. Bunker Hill. And then... Um, uh, they have a really good uh, day uh, D Day movie one. Forgot yeah. what it was, and then they have um, they have the uh, Operation Hens uh, Henchman Hensman, the one with the British British spies, uh, where where the we uh, the British um, in 1943 deteriorated uh, the, the uh, out of Hitler to go to Italy instead of fighting the main force that we met them. With Britain and the U.S. to fight, so that was a good one. The menu, never seen it. You like Men in Black? Men in Black was good. You know, you know what? You know what movie I liked as a kid, and it was, I look at it today, and the the reviews are terrible. It was the Wild Wild West with Will Smith? Does anybody oh even remember gosh. that? I remember that. Do you remember that? <laughs> that Dude, shit I was didn't, funny as It was days. funny. It was <laughs> most, like, I don't know why I liked it, but my dad there was. There were boobies in it. There I, were boobies in it. I would watch it, like, every time I go to my dad's trailer. <laughs> I would watch it. And he'd be like, bro, what the hell is up with you and Will Smith and this like robot? Like, the first scene, and, like, they're destroying the, the water tower, and Will Smith and his lovers just coming out of 
freaking water tower. That's funny, dude. It was great. Has anyone? What is the menu, Killer? Nah, it's actually a really good movie. Funny fact: Will Smith declined the role of Neo in Matrix for Wild Wild West. What? Good. Good. Wait. So let's. Well, yeah. I would say good. 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 I don't know. Will Smith kills everything he was in there at that time. You gotta understand. He carried. He, he, so he carried. Like. Yeah. Matrix is obviously a, a bigger seller, but we just talked about Wild Wild West, how terrible it was, and it still stood out because Will Smith. Like, you know, like, that's it. Like, he carried. That was a good time. That was a good, good years. Yeah, it was a very complex script. The Tremors movies were good. Do- I've never heard of the Tremors. Oh, no. Those are so no, good. No. No, those, those are so not good. fully taken the piss. Those are so Sorry. good. What is it? No way. Tell me about it. Tremors. Tremors. The worm it's like a thing giant so ass on worm the and like <laughs> they had different ones where it took place like in the in the wild west. They had one where it, like and there's this one dude who's just a total gun nut and doomsday prepper. And he's always That's hunting the one. tremors and shit. Well. Wow. And all their graboids. Come on now. Yeah, the official, you know. <laughs> I've never seen it, you know. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> right. This podcast has been banger, right, chat? It's been awesome. Um so <laughs> bangers and mash. We can um we can keep it going. Like I said, I um my plan here is to to mash. Oh my god, please don't do that. Don't. I, I have a mass shirt. I have a mass shirt. <laughs> that was the only show that I was allowed to watch when I was a kid, like growing up, like where, like, cause I, cause they knew I liked army movies and, and stuff like that. Cause I watched like full metal jacket and all that stuff. Like same prior. I was like eight years old watching that, you know, six. So they're like, you know, mash is the best you get. You know, you can just watch mash if you want to like get your military fix. And then I found Band of Brothers and stuff, and this got you know my fix got even more fixated. Um, but guys, I actually want to tell you a funny fact about OPG. I know so much about the Civil War. I don't know why I like the Civil War so much, bro. Well, I love the Civil War, bro, because I'm, I'm from Florida. You know what I'm saying? And I hated slavery. So for me being you know in a Confederate state, I always want to learn why we. What was the main reason for the Civil War? You know, and I idolized Abraham Lincoln. You know, for being that that guy to break barriers. Until he down. went to Ford's Theater. Yeah, I I was into that shit. I was like I I bought a Civil War book that cost three hundred and seventy five dollars for my fourteenth birthday. That's what I wanted for my birthday, and I was like sponsored by Nike at the time for playing football. And I was in. And I was liking Civil War. I did not care, bro. You can ask my mom. She'll tell you. I had a Civil War birthday party, and we and we got a visible ink from Adventure Landing and shot ourselves with plastic guns and plastic musket, muskets. Yeah, you know, there's there's an underrated really good movie that nobody talks about, which is Dances with Wolves. Never heard of that. Really, that was pretty good. Hogan Heroes. Andy Griffiths, I feel like I was denied critical need to know information. Burt Gummer. Holes. Yeah, Holes is good. <laughs> Band of Brothers. The American Civil War? Yes. You're learning learning about Civil War right now in school. Yes. It's my favorite, my favorite war of all time. Because it was on US soil. I didn't like the I, I like the Revolutionary War. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it was the only one that was on my soil. From Florida, we had one battle, and it was in a lusty. And I'm, t- I, I live thirty minutes from a lusty. Is it true that American schools mostly teach about national history, but not outside of the U.S.? Um, they do. It depends on like what, <clears throat> depends on what type of school you go to. You go to a private school, you're gonna learn a lot more than you do in a public school. I like my in fourth and fifth grade. I learned more in fourth and fifth grade than I did my whole three years of public middle school. And I promise you, like, I promise you, I spent two years in a private school from fourth to fifth grade, a Christian school. And I learned way more than I did in three years in whole middle school. 
Lab allowed the 13th Amendment that did not free the slave, just outlawed private slave ownership, replaced the word slave with convict, and made slave gay play. Yes, you're correct, Doc, but it was still, I know it wasn't the best thing, but it, like at the time, you got to think about that nobody else is even trying to make a primitive to do that. And then he was also assassinated. So, but I mean, you got to, I'm a kid. I don't know. I didn't know at the time. I didn't know anything. About the banana wars. No, I haven't. Please enlighten me. Think about, um, I've been stressing these lakes. Read Smedley's Butler's book, uh, War is a Racket. OPG, I gotta go. Gotta, hey, no problem. Have fun on Battlefront. It's fun as hell. Uh, I have I have <clears throat> good news. Talk to me. So, I have, like, these really nice Seinhurst, like, $300, $400 headphones, right? Yeah. <clears throat> um, they're audio files. They're nice. But I can't hear stuff when I play, like, COD unless they're right up on me. So, I put my old... Bluetooth headphones on and I can hear people. <laughs> nice. So maybe in War Thunder I can hear things coming up on me. I've been stressing these lakes around the country it used to be black owned cities. Yo, so you know that California is giving back the beach uh, to the black families that own it, right? Is that what I heard? Or they're they're dispersing the money back to the the actual black owners in nineteen fifteen or nineteen thirty they originally owned it or something? I got a question. If you could meet one famous person of history, who would it be and why? That's good. Ooh. Who would I want to meet based off what I know of their history and not them actually? And it can't be someone who's alive. I'm going to tell you that. It can't be someone in history. Like, can't say Barack Obama and George Bush. Don't say no presidents. Don't say Donald Trump. I don't care. Don't know. It's George like, Washington. You want to see George Washington? I want to talk to Robin Williams. Robin Williams, he's now, yeah, Robin Williams, I, I will say. I met Robin Williams once. You did? Mm-hmm. That's In awesome. In California. And then my brother actually got a picture with him. That's fire. Mm-hmm. You probably needed a stronger amp for those uh, Sennheisers, that, then, then it would be epic. Ah, uh, they're just, like, the studio quality. They're just meant to, like, you know, hear, like, the differences in music. If I could meet one famous person of history, it would probably, ooh, I know it would probably make y'all feel weird if I say it, but um, I would want to meet um, uh, George Washington Carver. Does anyone know who George Washington Carver is? No. But knowing you, it might be some Soviet. Mm -mm. General. No, nah, George Washington oh, Carver is an American no. agricultural scientist. He came back. Ah. Uh, yeah. I was way wrong. Yeah, he created he he created uh, crop ro uh, rotation methods, which helped with pe and, uh, peanuts and cotton. He's really the guy that really helped make peanut butter. So yeah. that's the man who I have this addiction to the Reese's peanut butter. Yep, black man basically. <laughs> The black man uh, basically helped create, uh, you know, a proper way to pick cotton and crop rotations for peanut butter and to make things into peanut butter. So he's basically the true founder of peanut butter, in my opinion. And it was way And I love peanut butter. Right. Who doesn't like peanut butter? And he found it. So. Have and, you tried it? And that was during the time where black folks were purposely not getting educated, you know? So for him to, to do that during the time, which was like, I think it was like 18 something or maybe 19, 20th century. I don't know. But I would like to just to see what type of man he was or how it was to be in a, a day in the life of uh, him. He is. Yes, he is a scientist. You're right. He is a scientist. But he was not necessarily a, like a, he, he. I mean, yes, he is a real scientist, but like. You know, he wasn't regarded as one because of the race and the knowledge that they thought he wasn't capable of having. I would like to meet Oda Nobunga. He was brutal, yes. But he was the first one who dreamed ambition to unite Japan in one single country. I like that. Vex, I'll see you later. Bye. If I miss anybody, please uh, smash that follow button or say what up. I do appreciate everybody that's hanging out and um, throwing in questions to the podcast. In Indonesia, we love peanuts. We actually have something called peanut sauce, which we use as food. We love that shit here. Mm. I love peanut sauce. 
That's a thing. Peanut mm -hmm. sauce. Peanut sauce. Um, yeah, shout out to the 20 in chat, guys. So, um, question, dream car and why? I got asked that question, and to be honest, I don't have a good answer. I'm not a car guy. I strike a blank on cars. I do. Lamborghini, Murcielago, SV. I, like, yeah, like, <laughs> all these guys just throw these names, and I don't even know what engine or how many horsepower is in the thing. I don't care. It looks nice. It's or cool. 63 Stingray with a split window. I would probably get uh, I, nice. I would get a what do you call them? Um, I I just want a uh, like a a, a, a a Rolls Royce. A Rolls Royce. I just want a double R. Which one? The. F I don't care what <gasps> it is. It could be a, a Bentley SUV. So the Phantom. So good husk. My favorite curry. I'm like, yeah, I don't really, I don't really care. I don't really care what it is. Bentley, Rolls Royce. Ferrari from, from the UK for me anything that's like American like V8 unbelievable I've owned one and unfortunately I have to sell it but yeah love cars favorite hobby basketball questions burgers with or without cheese with cheese Ashton Martin is awesome and Ashton Martin is beautiful Popular in the Netherlands. It it's, it's also quite unreliable, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. I don't like vegetables like that. The only vegetables I'll eat is uh, is peas and green beans. They're vegetables, right? Yep. yep. I hate peas. What? Both peas. Yeah. Peas are My awesome. My mom would put peas in like fucking everything. <clears throat> they taste really good to fried rice. There's only certain the vegetables that go on a burger, though. Lettuce, tomato, whatever, a bit of onion and that, you know what, I don't know what else you'd put on a burger. Who's the guy that uh, said he hates peas? It was TK. Tickle. <laughs> I might get cancelled for hating peas. I feel it. <laughs> I hate Brussels sprouts. Love peas. Brussels sprouts are the most disgusting thing in the world. I could oh, eat both no. Brussels sprouts all day long. Brussels sprouts are iconic. That's a... You said they're nasty? I could eat them. All year round. Brussels sprouts? No, it's just a Christmas thing. Yeah, but for me, I could eat them all year round. Why? So nice. They're nice? Yeah. They taste like wet yeah. cabbage. Baby cabbages. Especially like when it is a cabbage. It's like a little baby cabbage. It's, I love it. It is a baby cabbage. It's wet cabbage. In a ball form. Smaller. It's it's a baby cabbage. It's terrible. It tastes like a fucking... <laughs> it tastes like you're eating into an onion for no reason. Why? Oh, no, no. Right, Pocky, you need a, a proper, proper Christmas dinner, you know, and then you change your mind. Brother. Good British Christmas dinner. Brother. You're they, eating. I don't want no... Brussels dinner. sprouts are great. I want to throw up. <laughs> and, like, corned beef hash. What about it? Wow. Take and it like back. corned beef. Uh, I love say, corned beef. I was about to say, take it back. Watch your mouth. Make me OPG. I can't. <laughs> If you can go back to Oscar, school with me, young, would you do it? Why? If, if, I actually asked that vegetables question. vegetables green, you'll eat it. I actually asked that question last week, man. I asked if, um, if you can go back in time, no. would you do it? But you would have to, you would have knowledgeability of everything that's to come and who you've lost, but you'd also get back everybody you lost, you know, or whatever. I asked that question two weeks ago. Y'all remember that? I'd so do it because I'd invest money into Bitcoin and Starbucks. But oh, you hell yeah, bro. Bitcoin, but it was worth like, you got, but you, gotta think about, you gotta think about the people that have kids and stuff, you know? And the people they met, they would have a different route. They wouldn't have the kid that they have in the future or something. Like, yeah, they take that or something, you know? They take a different route. They won't have this I, I should have invested in the GameStop when the freaking stock market crashed because I knew it was gonna come up. <clears throat> hey, sounds good, Lamp. Thank you for chilling so long, bro. It's been awesome. See you, Lamp. If you can get a college degree in anything, what would it be? Um, I don't even know. I mean, <clears throat> I mean that means I have to thoroughly enjoy it. If I was doing it just for money, I'd do anything a doctor does. But 
like one of them NASA people. I don't even know how the, the, the head to retain it. I don't even know what that is, Hus. Twisted, I'll see you next time. You have a great day, Logic. I mean, Logic Lodge. I will go back. I call him Logic because of the rapper. <laughs> Mate, what is a shawarma? Oh my! Oh, oh, I love the shawarma. What is that? I don't know. What oh it is. my! I love the shawarma. Oh, oh my! You it is. Google it is divine. You're drooling. Google it and you're drooling. It is divine. Oh. I don't know what it is. Oh. I lived off the when I was in Poland. To be honest, they were a good place near a hotel. Oh. Wow. Good thing I got one down the road. Oh wow! That's cool. <laughs> so good. Middle, uh, husk, Middle Eastern version, Middle East version, not, not the, I'm not, not basic chicken beef, Middle East version, all day. That's where I had, it, like, when I was in Iraq, <coughs> I had some great shit. Yeah, if you get in, like, a shawarma, you do it right. I actually had a shawarma that was paid by an officer. Oh, wow. Um, by like the Kurdish. I thought that was like gyros. Or gyros. That's Greek. That's, that's Greek. Gr uh, Greek. That's, yeah, that's, that's Greek. Ma that's, that's mainly like Donna, I'd say. They use like Donna. Well, I, Donna I, I know it's Greek, but like my best friend growing up was Moroccan. He's French Moroccan. So they had a. A French Moroccan <clears throat> restaurant, they sell gyros. <clears throat> I'll say my best Middle Eastern food is lamb chops and pankika. Pankika? Yeah, pankika is, uh, is like literally the best breakfast ever. You know what pankika is, Husk? <laughs> All right, so the other dudes in the podcast, what are your favorite kind of shawarma? Mine is basic one with beef and some veggies. No idea, I actually. Have Sounds good, Poost. Uh, thank you for hanging out so long, bro. You're amazing. The beef with the pickled veg. Is poutine good or no? I've never had poutine or poutine. Very good. I like it. It's nice. I ate German white sausage that? with sweet mustard once. It was an experience. Uh, Isn't that like a bratwurst or whatever? A brat first. Uh, what May's talking about? Like cheese, like curd, almost like, and like cheese and like chips and stuff, and it's all like, yeah, bits of meat. Like Some places do it like curd. very wrong. Do the fights tonight? I can't wait. <clears throat> the fights tonight? Yeah. Noise. What food are you concurrently craving? Sushi. Got ease. On Indian. I'm always craving sushi. Or like fried rice and teriyaki chicken. Yeah, Husk, you've been following for over a year now, I think, buddy. Huh. Sushi is like my number one craving all the time. I would also do like... Let's see. If it, something I crave every day. I, seafood. I crave a type... I could crave a, a type of seafood every day. <laughs> If as long as it's not the same seafood every day, <laughs> bless you. Thank you. Crab Delight. It's called Crab Delight. It's my favorite roll. It's a uh, crab, 
Shrimp got a little bit of mayo, uh, flying fish eggs, and a uh, spicy eel sauce. It's fire. It's insane. And each bite is like fucking, is like a slider size, slider burger size. There's no roll um, for it. You got to order them like a la carte. All right, OBG, I'm going to head out. I'm going to go play some worth on it before work. All right, sounds good, voices. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Yeah, no problem. Take care. See you, buddy. See you, bro. All right, so let's do another question in chat. Um, uh, let's see. That's a good one. You like sashimi? <coughs> Sounds good, mm -hmm. Mac. Thank you for chilling with us, baby. See you, Mac. Everybody I should walk on Mac. that ghost. Black Widow's lurking. He had to go do something. I should be for a little bit. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably not uh, streaming long today because uh, today's the fight. I do want to watch the fight. I'm just showing the day, to be honest. Just building the community up. Really just want to build the YouTube. and This is all YouTube work and um, Twitch work today, you know? Just building everybody up and wanting everybody to be active because... I can always play Warth Under a Sweat, get a couple extra viewers in here, but when do we ever have this many people talking and having a blast like this, you know? So, other streamers, they sit there and look at their camera, don't play good, and just say one thing to you, and then everybody likes them, so. I can't. Yeah, I know. I wish. Your points haven't been refunded yet? Yeah, I've been starting late, and the only mod that refunds it is Bad Motor, so hopefully he'll refund it when he sees it. It's only been an hour and a half. I started late. I, didn't, I started way after 12. I didn't even... I started when I normally end. That's what I'm saying. I'm just chilling today. Nope, no. This is for a YouTube video, bro. This is. I'm going to put this on YouTube later. Uh, I can't do that. I can do it after. I was during the actual fight. Yeah, I can do that after the fight's over with. I can't do it during the fight while it's happening. That's an instant ban. Instant, man. Yep. There's a big uh, fight today. Boxing. He said, I'm done now. <laughs> Magnum, you're all good, buddy. You're funny. Hey, sleep good, Husk. You've been staying up late, late the past two nights. I know it's Aussie land over there for you. So we did an hour and a half. I, I say that the podcast was a success. Uh, I had a blast. I hope you guys did too. Um, you're booting up Siege? Let's go. What would you guys like to see me play today? War Thunder, Siege, Call of Duty, Apex? What do y'all want to see today? Hmm. Uh, at least be in the 200 club monthly. So you got to get 200 watch hours monthly. I'm doing 8 to 10 hours a day mostly or 2 times a day. Um, you know, stuff like that. Exclamation 200 Club, something that Joe created, one of my mods. Huh. Well, if it's been a month, it's got to reset. Has it been a month yet? Do exclamation um, hours. You got to do 200 in a month. How many days have you followed? I will be reduced to watch. So yeah, see, Magnum has seven months, and he seven times two is one point four. He's fifteen hours away from two hundred hours a month, and there was time where I took a lot of time off, and there's times where he works. And you're not slacking. You've been on that for. I mean, you gotta. That's still good, because remember, I took a lot of time off to the past two months that I normally do with my uncle and Easter and all this stuff twice. So. 
Yep. So that's the type of dedication we're talking about. And you know what? Magnum's not even in my Discord, bro. How about that? He's my mod and he's not even in my Discord. Well, that's it. Personally, it was his fault at first, but I guess now it's my fault. I need something to write. That's crazy. <clears throat> yeah. Yo, Jose, thank you for the alert, baby. Oh, oh shit. I got shot in the back again. That's typical, bro. It's been four days, mate. In four days, it'll be a year. On the 26th. That's crazy. Here, Magnum, I'll send you another one. My 18th time sending it to you. Husk, are you in my Discord? You already had a whisper for it before, it says. Let's see. My boy Nick Methods in the building. Dude, we had a lot of people just chilling today. Appreciate that. For a day stream, it's chill. We don't have to do more. <coughs> I sent it to you on a message. No, that was the old one. I just sent you a new one because it's a 24 hour link. Yeah, I did. I sent it on, I sent it to Twitch. I don't have you on Discord. How can I send it to you through Discord if I don't have you on Discord? Dog's trying to kill a selfie in my cable. What's that, Yuri? Oh no. On this game, can, no? Are you sure that's his I got sent one? back to the hangar. I was doing all I just got four kills in one life with this SU122. We searched far and wide. Unfortunately, nobody was found. Magnum D4. Is it case sensitive? Five kills so far. Battlefront two. We can go we can play Battlefront two. Y'all wanna watch me play that? I don't care. I can't find him. Someone's got to take care.